And we're going to do a little put a ring on it time right now. I'm going to give you a player's name with an over or under on how many rings they will finish their careers with, and then you tell me where we are on that. Gotcha. We're going to start with the one and only Chris Paul. Year 19, zero rings. I will put the ring number at point five. Hmm. Does he get one? I, Did he? I'm no. gonna say under. Um, I don't think uh, he gets it this year. Uh, Golden State have had a lot of ups and downs. Uh, it's to the point where some of it's concerning if, you know, where they're gonna be playoff spot wise. Are they gonna be in a play, play in this year? Or are they gonna get it hmm. together and, and have a solidified playoff spot? Um, so with that being said, I don't see them winning a ring this year. And this is year 19 for Chris. You know, he did a couple of years in college. I don't know how many more years you think he has left, but maybe I think maybe one more after this. I can right. see him playing. I know we, LeBron's the standard. Everybody thinks everybody can play yeah, that's not 20 something years like LeBron. Not everybody can do that. This is year, this is 19 a lot, especially after playing a couple of years of college. So I don't know how many more years he'll have left. So I think this is probably his best chance this year. And I don't see it being the greatest one. Do you think he ring chases? I hope not. I hope not. His his legacy is too great. You know, he's he's considered one of the best point guards mm -hmm. of all time in this league, and so I wouldn't want that to be on his jacket going into the Hall of Fame. One of the guys that was running around in year 20, year 21, mm -hmm. looking for a ring. And I, I, listen, you are who you are at this point. We respect you for what you've done for the game. I know he's still building on it. I'm not trying to close the door on him, but I, I'm giving this an under. Under, okay, both. All right. Um, hmm, this is interesting. Jason Tatum, very young still, only 25 years old, uh, sixth year in the league, four Eastern Conference Finals, so close. The over-under is one and a half rings for Tatum. Lou. I'm going to give it an over. He's, he's oh. getting closer. He's getting closer and closer. He's had, some, he's had some deep playoff runs already for Eastern Conference Finals, like mentioned. And so that's telling you that he's, he's knocking on the door of getting over that hump, especially in year six. Hmm. Who knows how much time he has? So I'm, I'm giving this an over. I think he definitely is going to be a two-time or more champion at the end of the run. I'm giving this an over as well. Uh, I think he gets two. I think he has a long tenured career ahead. He still think probably another 10 years at least. I think he gets hmm. one in Boston. I don't know if he gets two in Boston, but maybe one somewhere else as a third option maybe, you know. Really? Uh, I, I can see it happen if things don't go well after, they, if, or if they don't get one, I can see some trades happening or him wanting to leave and going somewhere where he thinks he has a chance and maybe getting you know, his two somewhere else. But I, I do think he can get two within the next 10 years uh, of his career. It seems like he's in such a good basketball situation there. Is, is there a better sure. place for a guy like Jason Not Taylor? right now, I mean, okay. but he said a lot of things, things can change in a year. You see yeah. what happened in Brooklyn. Yeah. Um, you Lord. know, things can change in the two years, so you never know. All right, Kevin Durant. Obviously, he already has his two, but he hasn't been to a final since. Dun, dun, dun. Over, mm -hmm. under, two and a half rings. Danny. I'm going to go over. I think, he, I think he can get one more. Um, I think Phoenix, they get it together, if they get it right, if they get Bradley healthy, and I think they have a, a short window of maybe two or three years. Hmm. Um, but I, I think they can get it done if they get the right pieces around those guys. Not a lot of time left, but he has a window. And they have the team that's built for it. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a team that, that's built to make a championship run. And I, I'm confident that they're going to be in the mix of that. And so I'm going, I'm going over. I think he, could, he has an opportunity to get one. So this Phoenix team is the window. That's like two, three. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Yeah. OK. All right, no pressure. Uh, James Harden. A lot of contending teams he's mm. been on, and somehow, nothing. Still chasing the first one, guys. I'm being dramatic. I have no idea why. <laughs> uh, over under 0.5 rings for James Harden. <laughs> Give me the over. What? <laughs> Clipper gang a don't bag. It is what it is, man. Give me, give me the over. I'm riding with the guys. With man. guys. Give me the over. I'm going the under. I just don't see it happening for this group. And I, I don't. Maybe he can end up with a contender <laughs> after this year. But I, I feel like he's gonna try to stick it out and make it work with this group. You think he's gonna try to stick it out and make it work with LA? Based on what? Ain't leaving I don't Los know. Angeles. I think I think he'll stay. I think he's gonna try to stick in Los Angeles and figure out a rhythm. But this, PJ Tucker said it. There's not enough basketballs for for this group. <laughs> To make it work, they need to find some role players. Maybe they make some good additions or, or moves before deadline or in the off season. Uh, but there's a short window for them in Clipperland. I don't know how healthy or PG, like PG and Kawhi, are gonna stay or be in the near future. Fair. Um, so I, I think that window is very short. If he gets a ring, is he a top 50 player of all time? He's arguably a top 50 player right now without the ring. But mm -hmm. um, I think if he gets the ring as as a one of the bus drivers, I think for sure <laughs> he's a top 50 player of all time. <laughs> really? 
I mean, we could name the other 49, but we don't have that kind of time here today. Maybe tomorrow. Luka Doncic, over, under, 0.5. Give me the over. I, I want, I, I like to see a, a magic bird type run mm -hmm. with him and Jason Tatum for the, in the years to come. You know, <laughs> yeah. originally it, it was okay. it was going to be Luka and, and Trey. For sure. Um, until they get get everything right in, in, in Atlanta right now, it's, it's going to be Luka and, and Tatum. And so give, give me the over. I see these guys battling for a long time. Uh, give me the over as well. I mean, I like what, you know, the groups he puts together, well, his coaching staff and front office put together for him. And, you know, he's he's very similar to LeBron. Uh, he's a high IQ player. I think he only needs the right pieces, and I think they're going to find that for him. With it, said so he still has a lot of time left, too. He's still very young. I'm See, I'm doing math right now, right? So we have Tatum, you guys said over, so he's going to get two. You have Durant's going to get one. James is going to get one. Lucas, that's four that seasons one. already. <laughs> and we're not even taking into consideration yeah, the Nuggets. That's, and That's not a lot of basketball. Feels yeah. like a lot four of basketball. Four seasons, not bad. Four years feels like forever. Yeah. Uh, Steve Kerr, five championships as a player, four as a coach. He's got nine total. <laughs> over, under, nine and a half. Over. Steve Co he's, a, he's a coach. He, How many has, overs are there? He got 20 years. He, he yeah, can coach he can until he's 70. You think he would, though? You think he would do the pop thing? I don't know. Why not? I don't know. You just get sick of it at some point. I mean, maybe. you see the contracts they are, they are, I wouldn't say true. just giving out, but they're, they're earning. But the contracts these coaches are getting now. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm um, sure he's made four times as much money. I would coach for a long time, too, if I was him. I, he could definitely get it, but it depends on, you know, where his mindset is. I don't know if he gets it in Golden State, though. Okay, so, that's what I was going to ask. Can you see him somewhere else? I can't see him somewhere else, but it, if he does end up somewhere, if he does coach for 20 years, I give him the over. But I, I don't, I give him the under on this one. I don't, I don't see him getting, I don't see him getting in Golden State. And once Clay, Steph, and Draymond are gone, I think it's going to be very different. Oh, that's especially true. if they let go of Poole, Wiseman. I don't know what they're going to do with Kaminga and Wiggs, but um, they're a young core. I saw Paul Pierce and, and KG talking about the other day. Uh, didn't pan out the way they expected them to. I can't picture him coaching somewhere else. It would be very weird. Unless he wants to go to San Antonio. Or Chicago. Oh, Chicago would be Chicago, good. Chicago, San Antonio, it's the places where he's won. Yeah, so. that's a good point. We'd welcome him. Uh, coming up, panic button. Which teams, players, everyone should be hitting that button? When Run It Back returns. Run it back. Yeah. Run it up. Run it back. Run it back. Run it up. Run it up.